Hello YouTubers, in this video I got a potentiometer connected to a nuclear board. When I change the value, it's going to update in the serial wire viewer. The serial wire data trace graph is here. The graph is in the middle. I'm going to re reduce the potentiometer all the way down to zero. Now I'm increasing it to all the way up to nearly 4000 and then going down again. Let's build this one. The wiring diagram is here. One side of the potentiometer connected to ground, other side connected to 3.3 volt. The middle pin you can connect to any pin connected to ADC. These are the common one we can easily plug into. I have connected to A0. The pin label we are going to use for QID is not to A0, A1, A2, A3, A4 like this. That's a different label. We can use this picture. This is PA0, PA1, PA4, PB0, PC1 and like this. So I'm using PA0. The wiring connection is here. One side of the potentiometer connected to 3.3 volt. Other side connected to ground. The middle pin connected to A0. I show it closely. I have opened the cube IDE. If anybody doesn't know how to install cube IDE, I have made a separate video. It's available here. We can continue. For the part number, we put F446RE. Click this one. And uh, it's nu Nucleo 446RE. We can click this one and click next. We can give a name. I give pot and click finish. For the default mode, I click yes. Now the middle pin of the potentiometer connected to PA0. So we're going to search and find where is the PA0. We can in this area, we type PA0 and this is the pin. So we can zoom in and click that pin and see which ADC is connected. For ADC 1 in 0, ADC 2 in 0, ADC 3 in 0 connected. So I, I can use ADC 1 in 0. So now we click analog, click ADC 1. For in 0, we tick. For the configuration, parameter setting, we make it bigger. Make sure the continuous conversion mode, it is enabled. Now we need to find the clock speed. We click this clock configuration. It's running at 84 megahertz. You can change it if you want. I just keep it as it is. We, I need to put this one into the serial wire trace. So I remember this one, 84. Now we can click save. In the description below this video, I have pro provided a website link. There I provided the code. When we go there, this one, diagram is here. The picture is here. The cube ID setting is here. We already done. The code is here. Only few lines of code. For the user code begin PV, we copy and paste this one. We go to cube IDE. Go to user code begin PV. That's here. We paste it. In the while loop, we put this one. Five lines. Copy it. Go to while loop. That's here. Paste it. So it start the ADC full for conversion and the read value getting the ADC value. And then we stop the ADC and then one second delay. We can click save. Now we can use the debug button for debug. In this window, 
click debugger and keep keep as it is and go below and serial via viewer we click enable and uh, remember which we had the 84 megahertz which changes to 84 and then click apply click ok now for the serial wire viewer we can click window and appearance sorry show view and then SWV and go to SWV data trace timeline graph and then this button configure trace click it and for the comparator zero enable and here we put the read value R E A D V A L U E and click OK. And then we can make this one a little bit bigger to we can see. And we press this button, start trace. And then press resume. Now we can see the graph. Now I'm changing the potentiometer, going all the way down to zero. And then going up all the way nearly 4000 now coming back again to zero going higher again like this and going up and down thank you very much for watching if you have any question write down in the comment section below i try to answer as much as i can thank you bye